this is session five of why Jesus came. Today I just want to look at a section in Mark chapter 10 verses 13 to 16. People were bringing children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, put his hands on them and blessed them. Now this to me says something very important about God. Jesus' disciples saw the children as an annoyance, a waste of time. They were only children, they didn't really matter. But Jesus shows that every life, no matter how unimportant in the world's eyes, no matter how intellectually naive they may be, they still matter to God. Verse 16 says he took them in his arms. He didn't just lay a quick hand on them and, and say a quick blessing. The picture of being taken in his arms is a picture of love. Everyone is precious to God and he is a loving Heavenly Father. But Jesus also uses this to show the disciples what God wants of us. He wants that simple trust that a child will have in a good parent. A child with good parents just trusts their parents know what to do, that they'll protect them, that they're loved, they'll be looked after. They don't have to worry about where their next meal comes from, they just live comfortable and secure. Now I know this is not the case for all children, but here I'm using the example of a healthy family. Jesus wanted us to know God is a loving Heavenly Father who provides for our every need, watches over us, loves us, longs to take us in his arms. If we're able to see God like this, then we can trust him completely, no matter what we're going through. We just know it will all work out. Because our Heavenly Father is far greater than the best of human dads. But the passage also assures us that none of us is so insignificant to God that he doesn't know about us or care about us. Every single life is precious to him, doesn't rely on our status or importance. It's also something that we need to take on board if we're feeling bad about ourselves, who we are, because some people simply feel, well, God can't possibly love me. The passage tells us otherwise. It can be very helpful to focus on how Jesus scolded the disciples for sending the children away. He wanted to cuddle those insignificant little people and to bless them. This is the love he has for each of us. Yes, he is an awesome, holy God, but he's also a God who loves beyond our wildest imagination. Who I am, who I am.